Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I'm gonna do what everyone wants to know. Break down the prices for Vietnam. How much did Vietnam cost us? One month of motorcycles across the country. How much did it cost us? Well, I'll tell you straight up. It cost us $2,411. Well, at least that's what it cost me. That cost is absolutely everything. Everything from flights to food to hotels to ice cream sandwiches to getting fined by the police. That is absolutely everything, all included. Our round trip flights from Toronto to Ho Chi Minh City were $835. Booked through China Eastern Airlines. They were by far the cheapest, and I booked four months in advance. Our only other flight was from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City because we motorcycled Ho Chi Minh City to Hanoi and then it was cheaper to book a $56 flight from Hanoi back to Ho Chi Minh City than catch our round trip flight back to Toronto. That $56 flight was through Jetstar Pacific Airways. They were also by far the cheapest flight you could get. Now our visa to get to Vietnam cost a whopping $106. I did it the most legal way possible, directly through the Vietnam Embassy. They didn't say how much they were charging. You just have to like send them your credit card information. It's a bit sketchy. I know there's a lot of ways you can get around this. We talked to people that paid like $20 for their visa. You just have to go through travel agencies or different websites and you can get a lot cheaper. I just really wanted to stay on the safe side and do it the most legal way possible. Now travel insurance. Travel insurance cost me $114. Uh, I got it through my bank, RBC. Luckily, never had to use it. That just leaves everything else, all the other costs. So all the costs while I was there in Vietnam cost a total of $1,300 for 30 days. So this includes $140 for getting fined by the police while we were riding motorcycles. This includes every single night in hotels. Hotels were usually cost us between four and $7 per night. There's five of us, so Sometimes we get a good deal because there's so many of us, but sometimes it kind of screwed us because five's a weird number to get hotels for. Um, food, food is super cheap. Problem is, it was so cheap, we just snacked all the time. I can recall one day I had seven sandwiches and seven donuts and seven slices of bread with my breakfast. The problem is, is when you have downtime in a country like that and everything's so cheap, all you do is walk around and spend money. And because I don't like buying stuff, I buy food. It's so cheap, but it can get to you. Next thing is stuff like uh, gas. Gas, I'd have to get it probably every other day and a completely full tank would be like $7. All the other costs pretty much were going to attractions. Uh, some were cheaper than others. Uh, some expensive ones that stood out were Vin Pearl was $56. How Long Bay Cruise we went on was $140 American. Between the two cave tours we went on, that cost between $40 and $50 I believe. Really $2,400 isn't that bad and like we could have saved so much more money not spending on useless snacks not getting fined by the police not doing some of the stuff we did but it's well worth it that's still including flights only $80 a day just being at home most people spend more than that between their rent car insurance phone bill all that without going on any tours and just like motorcycling city to city and when you're in the cheaper cities you can easily get away with spending under $20 a day with everything included, gas, food, accommodation. What got us is uh, some of the tours we did, some of the places we went and saw were a bit expensive. Place fine was expensive. I highly recommend guys, if you're looking to go somewhere, just go and do it like $2,400. Money comes and goes, memories stay forever. Just go and do it if you wanna do it. That's all I have to say. I forgot one more cost, I forgot one more cost. Um, booking Drake's flight, I forgot the OB on Jacob, so they didn't let him on the plane, so he had to book another round trip flight, and because he had to book it for the next day, that cost me $2,771 for forgetting two letters, the actual total of my trip, was $5,182. Nah.